This is iTech Everything, and in this video, I'm just going to be going through the upgrades I've made to my 8 Mac Pro and share with you some of my upgrade plans for the future. Let's get started. Alright, so, so far I've made three upgrades to my 8 Mac Pro, and I'm just going to go through them one by one in detail. First, we'll start with the graphics upgrades I made. So, as you can see, I now have an ATI Radeon HD 5770 in my Mac Pro. Um, I actually took this out of my old Mac Pro and put it into the new one. Uh, this 8-core Mac Pro came with an ATI Radeon 2600, I think, 2600, and that only had 256 megabytes of, um, of graphics memory. And this beast right here has 1 gigabyte of GDDR5 memory. So yeah, that's a really great upgrade, and this graphics card does all, all I need it to. It's fantastic. I've had this graphics card for a while now, probably 8 months or so. Um, I'll put a link in the video description of how to install this into a Mac Pro, seeing as I did a video on that uh, with my old Mac Pro. But the process is the exact same with this model, so I'll put a link in the video description on how to install the ATI Radeon HD 5770 into the Mac Pro. I think they'll help out a lot of you guys, and um, I was considering doing it with this one, but I thought it's pretty pointless considering I've already done it. So yeah, I'll link you in the description. Once again, the process is the exact same, and this is a fantastic graphics card. You can buy it from Apple. The second upgrade I've done is the Kingston Solid State Drive. Uh, as most of you know, SSDs are fantastic, they're so much faster than hard drives. This is a 60GB Kingston SSD, and um, I have my apps, uh, have my apps, documents, just all that sort of stuff, OS obviously, on the 60GB SSD. And then I have all my data, movies, that sort of stuff, on the 1TB hard drive. And once again, I'll put a link in the video description. I actually did an upgrade video, and um, that will show you how to install Soul State Drive into your Mac Pro. So once again, that will be in the video description. The third upgrade I've done is the one terabyte hard drive, as you can see it right there. This is, I'll pop it out and show it to you. The Western Digital Caviar Blue one terabyte. And once again, I've done hard drive upgrades for my old Mac Pro in the past. The process is the exact same, and I'll include a link in the video description on how to install hard drive in your Mac Pro. Once again, the process is the exact same for any Mac Pro. So yeah, they're the three upgrades I've done so far. I'm pretty happy with them. And um, now let's get on to my future plans I have. In the future, I plan to upgrade the RAM. At the moment, I have four 1GB sticks. Have two on my top riser card. Right there. And I have two on my bottom riser card, four gigs in total. Now what I'll most likely be doing in the future is buying four two gigabyte sticks. And that will bring me up to 12 gigs of RAM, and I think that will be really great. This thing will become an absolute speed demon. Because 4 gigs isn't exactly that much these days. Like, if I'm doing video editing, or gaming, or demanding processes, you can kind of see where the 4 gig bottleneck is. So, I reckon um, once I have 12 gigs of RAM, that will be fantastic. And if not 12, I'll at least get 8 gigs. I'm going to do some sort of RAM upgrade. Um, either 6, 8, or 12, but 12 would be fantastic. But even 8 gigs would be great, so expect a RAM upgrade video in the coming months. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video, just telling you my um, upgrades and my plans for my Mac Pro. Go ahead and give this video a like, as I really appreciate it. Drop a comment down below, click subscribe right above for more Mac-related videos, and follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash iTechEverything. See you guys in the next video.